organization is one of my fortes. Uh, what are these? Data charts and theory analysis? Seems very complicated. Unlike the romance novels I read. Doctor, have you read any Victorian literature? Just between the two of us, I share my name with the protagonist from my favorite work. I used to believe the infected would understand if I smiled at them. But I was wrong. Before I smile, I should put myself in their shoes to learn their pain. And that goes for all those who are oppressed. Now that I've talked to Amia and the doctor, I can understand why she, an elite operator, and the rest of Rhodes Island made that choice. It's a little embarrassing to say, but I really admire Bagpipe. It doesn't matter what she's been through. She takes pride in the fact she was once a Victorian soldier. Oh, please don't get the wrong idea. I still love Victoria, and it's this love that drove me to leave my homeland. It wasn't easy to lose the Dublins. I talked to the girl called Reed afterwards, but it doesn't seem she remembers me. I suppose that's a good thing for her. Should we get the chance? I would love to have a chat with her about poetry and novels. Oh, and it would be lovely if we became friends. I have every step of Trooping the Color memorized by heart, but I still have a long way to go to truly carry the banner's weight and find the way forward. It takes a little time to care for my hair. I know merely keeping up appearances isn't enough, but I see this as part of living diligently. Doctor, your hair's kind of messy. Would you like me to fix it for you? If the day comes that you must face those countless fearsome enemies, I will stand by your side. Doctor, if we had met before that incident, I'm sure I would have found myself relying on your help. But I can't well wait forever for someone to tell me what righteousness is. At the very least, on this journey we walk together, I wish to be an ally you can count on. Doctor, when I see you here like this, it reminds me of the days I spent lazing around in the Rhodes Island offices. The sunshine, the card games, and my friends. It really brings back memories. You must be Rhodes Island's commander. Operator Sila, reporting in. Oh, could you stop for a moment, please? I would like to take notes. I was disappointed in them. And so I threw away all the ribbons and medals I'd ever earned. But Rhodes Island is different. Thank you, Doctor. I accept this award. Even now, the blinding light that fended off the darkness still shines in my dreams, though I am still far, far away from her. May my banner protect all those who are innocent before my eyes. My friends, as long as we stand together, there will be no evil we can't overcome. Follow me! Forward! If battle is unavoidable, I will not allow my weaknesses to get in my way. <sighs> I'm ready. Your orders, please. It's my duty to stand here. I will not back down. Can't you hear the children's cries? Can't you feel the cities crumbling away? You've never ever noticed the hideous grins of conspirators. Could you ever imagine friends turning against each other and homeland fading into nothing but memories? I simply want to defend the people's right to live. And it doesn't matter if they are Victorians or infected. You showed me that even weeds struggling to grow in the ruins can stand tall. Thank you. I can only hope they will come to understand their injustice. Doctor, this time I'll stay. Hurry and take the others to safety. <sighs> I reckon it won't be easy to slack off once I become an actual staff member here. Ah. Oh, hello. Are you tired? I've baked some scones. Please, sit down, have some tea, and tell me what's on your mind. Arknights. Hey, Doctor. You look cheerful as always. <laughs>